Hi, it's Jen back with Father Christmas. We're focusing on block seven and 14. Some of the same skills we've been doing. Half square triangles, pick your favorite seam guide, or two and a half inch tar singles in this instance. This is where I'm going to be focusing and what's the new element this month. This is a star uh, square in a square. I should say not star in a star, square in a square. I've seen several techniques. Some people will take a fabric, cut it on the bi uh, diagonal, and you've got bias on this corner. What we've done on this one, I'll just show you what we have here. I think is, I like this technique. It uses a little bit more fabric. And I want to call your attention to the fact that this is a lighter color than these two. That's why you want to be working on opposites and making sure they are the same fabric on the opposites. So you're going to have this as one background piece. You'll have your squares per the sizes in the pattern. Draw the line, sew on the line, press to the outside and trim. Then you will come back with your two darker blues. I guess you could call them darker blues or mid blues. And again, of course, these would be pressed to the outside at this point, right? So these are gonna be looking like this. That's the easiest way by far to make a square and a square. You're not dealing with bias, I love that. And obviously, once you've sewn that on the line, you're going to be uh, trimming this away, of course. So you're leaning that block out. You can see that back here, we trim that away. And then uh, the half square triangles. Again, this is really more about uh, good, accurate half square triangles and laying everything out, pinning everything, quadrant seam allowances and pressing, not really anything new in that regard. I wanna talk to you about your final shipment. And in that final shipment, there's a lot of fabric coming your way, a lot of fabric. You're getting, of course, your center panel, which is really the whole punchline, right? all of your sashing that is in between your blocks, your first inner border, your second inner border, and then finally that outer border that it looks like are quilted uh, blocks. That is something that you're going to want to be quite uh, mindful about trimming this panel. I can't emphasize enough um, about taking multiple measurement checks before you trim that panel. By the time you've received that final shipment of block seven, this fabric is long ago out of production and I cannot get more of that fabric. So, um, you know, we can usually fudge certain things with quilt blocks. You know, if you miscut something, um, there's generally a little bit of fabric left over, maybe from a different block, you can use that. This is one I just can't call enough of your attention to, to just do multiple checks of that before you do trim your panel to accommodate your quilt. And then of course your inner borders, pretty straightforward with that. With this one, you, we were very intentional when we had our outer border of getting our ruler lined up, picking whatever point that was so that we could try to get that as straight as we could because obviously this, you know, if it's kind of diverging would be very noticeable. So I wanted to mention that to you. Not a big deal on your inner borders, your first or second inner border and sashing. No one can tell that, but that panel, and that outer border, you're gonna to wanna to take some extra time on those. And then of course, you're gonna be putting your quilt together and off to the quilt as you go. We're gonna pan over that quilt, um, give you some ideas. We had our quilter added some wind in here. Um, I thought that was a nice idea. Maybe give you some clues if you are going to either do the long arm quilting or send that out to be quilted. Uh, Father Christmas, one of those once in a lifetime quilts. More is coming your way. I'm always on the hunt to find new and unique products, create them for you or find them somewhere out in the world and bring them to you. Thank you for giving me your time and let the good news uh, be known amongst your quilting group. Still, there's people that should know about Shabby that maybe don't yet. And we wanna join, have them join all that's happening here. Thanks again, I'll see you soon on more Shabby Fabrics videos.